I didn't talk a lot because I was a bit nervous. Mozzarella. Whiskey. Cola. I know what We have one inside now. Who made the decision for me to not live in Harlem? sharp I'm loving how the fine they are now on to get ready for our date a mess to get ready how is time flying today anyway I need to leave the house now now and extra bag with shoes my bag itself and <gasps> looks cute though but I feel like I'm missing something but it's fine let's go bye look at the mess don't look at the mess I'm going to fill it. Fill it, man? Fill it, man? I should. I'm going to have two happy meals. Three happy meals? Yeah, with yes. banana milkshakes. And what would you eat? Oh, cheeseburgers. Oh, a cheeseburger. Five cheeseburgers? Yeah. And a banana milkshake, what do you eat? All of them, yeah. All of Yeah. And the uh, and sauce, all of them? Also, all of them. Okay. All of them. Tomato or apple? Last day in the studio. Ja, die heb to... ik nog niet. <laughs> Let's see. Die heb ik nog niet. <laughs> nee. Oh, there are actual real Pokemon cards. Oh, nice. Ice. Ice van God. Mm -hmm. Zullen we ruimen? <laughs> so they're starting the shoot with, with McDonald's. Ja. Yep. It's a very special thing. This is an, an invisible line. Invisible lines. The beauty of working on set. And just like that, there's. There's your label. Looking perfect. No, yeah, perfect. No, yeah. It's top secret, so you can't see. But you see what's holding it. I think it's okay. Or. That it looks the same, it just looks incorrect because I'm seeing the straps only. Ah, okay. I can't look at it. If I see it, it looks terrible. Oh my god, you zoomed in all the way. <laughs> no, it's not too bad. Okay. So finally, I'm actually, actually actually packing everything i had on the bed first lined up of like what i wanted to carry i'll pop a picture now and then i put them on the table like this <laughs> but now we can finally finally go ahead and put them all in the suitcase and i'm hoping to get that done before i start my work shift today so that at least i can start to feel like how heavy the bag is and if I need to take anything, I can take it out now. So, let's get to packing. So this is what I've got up to so far and I'm watching here uh, my guilty pleasure like I literally love watching 90 day fiance it is for me like an absolute guilty pleasure but I've got like my outfits packed and it looks quite good because everything fits on one side and I have one two three four five six seven wait 
Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 dresses. These are all my bottom options. I don't have much, but of course I can reuse my jeans and I'd love to reuse them. Um, and then here I have like blouses uh, up until here and then basic like tank tops and vest. And then I have t-shirts that I have like some things that I go hiking in. Mm, what else? My bags I'm taking. And then this is why I normally put my makeup in always when I travel. A little dirty, but it's like my OG. I love this kind of case. And then there I have some gifts. Mm. Yeah. And then here I have my hand luggage. And this is like full on one side already. So we are making a good progress. Just got waxed. Now off to work at a cafe. I was about to go to find a place to work and I think well I know now, <laughs> not think, but Anna and Max is where I'm definitely going to go. Because I think that's what I think. It's gonna be quiet. So I can still work and get enough done. This spot. I found the spot. Perfect spot here. This is my nails, fresh out of the salon, sun is setting and I'm on my way to get one last thing mm, from the city and it's now 8 o'clock. Here I am, on the airport. My bag is fine. I have everything I need. I just bought a new book. Bought is this one, Happy Place, because I'm going to one of my happy places on earth and I thought, why not buy a book called Happy Place? Still in a bit of disbelief that I'm leaving, but I am, because I mean, look where I am. Literally. It's my plane. Or our plane, I should say. And we are going to St. Martin. So let's go and see what all the adventures, vacation, the memories we'll make with family, and the ones I love dearly. <clears throat> I also bought an extra big watt because on the plane you get dehydrated, and I get like, I actually have a headache since Monday, so. I need to hydrate and take some painkillers and you know, take good care of myself. So yeah, I didn't talk a lot because I was a bit nervous with my bag, but it's all good. It's all great. Now on, just relaxing and putting my mind on vacation mode. I mean, I didn't even give you an update on my hair. So look at my hair. Like, this is it with natural lighting. It's very vibrant and the mask works amazingly. No sponsorship, but Marianella, if you have colored hair and you want to refresh your color while you like wait to go to the salon, definitely check them out because it's amazing, superb. Works really, really well. You see, tomorrow my curls will be curling, curling beautifully.
Oh look what I stack boy! What I stack? In the shop now. Brother, eh sister? Come back sister. What are you getting? A thing. I want a thing. I want a thing. The family has arrived. The birthday girl in the front. Say hi birthday girl. Say hi birthday girl. Oh hi. <laughs> I wrap your gift for you. Everybody Sh on was in rap. Shayo, look at Reska gift. I give her her gift. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Open your gift. Shayo. Shayo. Don't cry. I ain't crying. Don't cry. How are you to open the gift, man? You're taking too long. Open it. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. Really? <laughs> really? Come on. Look, come on. Look what she wrapped. My umbrella left in Holland. Oh, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> oh, your umbrella rescue. Oh. I have buy this in Primark because it has stopped to rain on the last day. No, and it was cold. You buy the umbrella because you was cold. <laughs> no, it was raining also. It has started to rain the last day. After year. arriving, and I'm out on my first hike with some of the family, but I kind of left them a bit and I'm walking down more I hear a boat and I think we're really close to the lookout house <laughs> we're walking to the lookout house on Lada Bay and here is where back in the day I need to check the date so I'll put up the picture now and some facts but everything came up that came to the island first from here before we actually had the Harbour. So it's a very historical, beautiful, steep but easy um, trail to do. Almost at the, the diamond rock over there. And here we are by the lookout house. The grapes. Yeah, the grapes are nice. You made it! I made it! <laughs> The best, the, good, the best day girl. What do you call them? Um, the secrets. Mm -hmm. yes. mm. okay, we can hear you, but we can't see you. Eric. <laughs> you by the mangoes are. Oh, oh, <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> Make it to the top. <laughs> woo -hoo -hoo. You made it, Twinkie. <laughs> A few moments later. <laughs> Wet. <laughs> Natural Ooh. color. I don't need to wash them all up. No, clean. It's fresh. Ah, my eyes are burning. <laughs> Let's call them Supermarket Chronicles. Which Say hi to the Supermarket Chronicles. Thing one, thing two, thing other one. Thing other one, thing other one, and thing other one. You went jam jamming. Yeah, I picked back again on the other side because we ain't got out. Yeah. But one suitcase, I went to six suitcases. Mm -hmm. yeah. We are in the suitcases. Woohoo! Woohoo! Look at the bunch of Cuba cake. Lacquer. Lacquer. Yeah, I'm going to trip.
I take a video of you. Yes, Yeah. No, it's normal to walk and up like this hill. Well, look at the rain over there coming in.
beautiful island of Seba. I am currently already here for a few weeks now. I haven't really vlogged and talked for a long time. I wanted to come sit in the sun to show you how beautiful and sunny it is. Just made sure the lens is clean, but here I am, ready to go on Friday breakfast with a cousin of mine and her son. Um, I decided to put on something colorful and vibrant because the last few days I have been feeling everything other than that. All my emotions and feelings are short to say all over the place. There's a lot going on. This trip has turned out to be and also be a lot different than I expected. Um, even though my expectations wasn't like really, really set in concrete. Um, but yeah, a lot of things just have changed and I'm actually staying on the island a bit longer. Well, not on this island. I'm going to go to Curacao um, and then from there fly back to the Netherlands. A decision I made yesterday, like concretely, and it's because my grandmother's a bit sick or she's there getting medical attention and I want to see her before I go back to Holland. But uh, a lot has changed in this trip. I haven't even really talked and vlogged because another issue I have is that my um, Instagram is giving me this error. I'm going to put it on the screen now. And I downloaded a VPN, it's not working. And I just think it's because I'm back home and it takes time sometimes for like Instagram to work correctly, even though people here can use music. <sighs> I don't really get it. I'm going to put it on my Instagram today maybe and see if anyone else has the issue and can help me. But yeah, I'm feeling beautiful today. The sun's shining. I actually don't know where my day is going to go. One of the plans is for me to go to St. Kitts, which is one of the neighboring islands here. And I hope it happens. But there's weather passing, a tropical storm, so I don't know exactly what to do yet. I'll figure that out in the next few hours because the boat does leave at 2. And I just need to see if I will be able to go. So yeah, I'm going to go and pick up my cousin now and I'll talk to you later. Look at my little date. Say hi, Amir. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and look at Ashantina. You have to say something. Hi. <laughs> That's what everyone says when they come on the video. But look at the view. We made it, so we have to go. And we're going to walk up the hill with this lovely little boy. How old are you now, Amir? Eight. Eight? Eight? He's big. Here's pretty. Look how nice the view is. And how long we don't at this? <laughs> Might be a little artificial something, but... In this. Look how pretty. It's so pretty, pretty. Views and views and views. And Amir. I'm going to bother you so much, Amir. The place we're going is called Tropics. From Juliana. Ah, this one is pretty. I didn't make a reservation, Ashan, so hopefully. Oh, come on. I didn't. So, Jenga have a bunch of footage on her GoPro. Hello. Do you want me to film you? I'm here. What are you watching? You don't know what you're watching. So you're watching something. Trying to catch bees with a chopstick. A chopstick? A man trying to catch bees with a chopstick. Why? Wow. <gasps> but he caught it. But you got to kill them. And orange juice. Apparently it's Sabin grown tea or Sabin made tea. So nice. They should actually sell it, I find. It smells good. Shaking all over. Are you holding it good? Yeah. You have to say something to the camera. What do you want to say? Uh, I don't know. What's something that's on your mind? Hi. Hi? It's on your mind? Okay. Hi. Bye. How was the food? You didn't eat anything, barely. What did you think about the food, Ashan? It was great. It was nice. I enjoyed it. Because it used a little more seasoning. Stick? Yeah. The pancakes were nice and fluffy. Mm hmm. And look and at the it was kind of soggy. Huh? Soggy, yeah, that's what it has to be. And look at the view here. Or like the area you sit. 
Super cute. And the pool is under construction. Yes. Let's go, son. Now we're going to get some souvenirs. First, everything, Mango. It's hot. Hot, hot. Yeah? Oh, Look at the boy, boy. You. Look at you. All branded. Trash branded. I think I want to get one like this. Two for thirty-five. Let's see what we find. Back home a long time ago. Took a nap. Felt refreshed. And we're just chilling. Chilling on the front porch with a view that I absolutely love. It's perfect. And I thought I would show you some goodies I got here. I got this t-shirt. The color is really pretty. I think it's super nice. I got this t-shirt for myself and today we had breakfast at Tropics Cafe. They had this tea that is apparently Saban May tea and I was like, I never heard about that. So I had to go look for it and of course buy and support the brand. I don't know exactly who makes it here. Saber Rock Living. I think they also make like soaps and stuff in the island. But I got Saban Mango and Passion Fruit tea. And then I also went with the green tea with ginseng and saban and lemongrass because in the mornings here I also get up and I go out and I make fresh lemongrass with the lemongrass we have here in the yard. There's a storm supposed to be passing in the next few days and the wind has now picked up a bit and it's like raining or drizzling a little. But these are the two that I got to take back with me to Holland. I think the packaging is really cute so after it finishes, I will definitely keep them. Ooh, it's going to rain more now. Ooh. And then I also, let me show you quickly, I also got a gift for Hans, my photographer Holland. And yeah, I know where We have one inside now. <laughs> Look! Yeah. Look at that! Thank you for the beautiful swim ocean. Ashan, stop screaming. <laughs> Thank you for the beautiful swim. This one I bet you. While breakfast is being prepped, I actually want to go and get some bush 
to make some bitch tea. Come with me. Shoes on. No rascal is over there. Flowers are springing, and we're gonna get some lemongrass. Try this tea? No. Really good. And this is it. Lemongrass. Lemongrass. <laughs> lemongrass from the yard. And I wanna make some lemongrass fresh tea. Yummy! My Angelina? Hi beautiful people! Face is done, hair is up because I was feeling a bit hot and humid and sweaty. I think I'm sweating already. But I'm ready. Cute little tops, top, well, scarf that I made into a top. Uh, just a, what do you call these tops again? Like, halter top? I think that's what you call it. But yeah, I made it into that with a cute skirt, just a nice basic cargo skirt and cute makeup and I'm off to have breakfast, a solo breakfast date because I feel like I need time alone and also to enjoy a good meal out just to make myself feel good, start the day on a kind of like hi it's now about 10 something so I hope I make it in time to get breakfast and it's the next dog water and it's my last week of vacation, like full week of vacation for the year that I have planned and I'm here in Seville still so that's nice this week, I should be traveling to St. Martin and then also to Kiriso, which was not planned a part of this trip. But because of my grandmother's health and her being down there, I thought it would be good to go and work allowed me to go. Or allowed me to spend, they didn't allow me to go. They allowed me to spend one more week working remotely. And yeah, that way I get to spend time with family, be with my grandmother and make sure that I feel good also before going to the Netherlands which is quite important for me currently and yeah but there's a tropical storm passing this week so I'm not too sure on when I'm going to go my plan is for me to um, go there on someone's passing my plan is for me to go there on Wednesday over to St. Martin and then Thursday over to Curacao. However, I'm not 100% sure if that will happen. So let's see exactly what this week will bring. I didn't book that ticket as yet. My KLM ticket is confirmed and changed. But I'm still figuring out, still so seeing. So every day, just taking it day by day. Let's go to breakfast. We are no girl time. So, I'm supposed to be leaving today to go to St. Martin, <laughs> but look at this, the fog like literally is almost down to the bottom, it is down to the bottom, but like if it just comes down a bit more over there, it would literally be all the way down, which is so crazy. Seva definitely does not want me to leave for whatever reason. I tried to go to St. Kitts, didn't go. Something is keeping me here. What? I'm actually dressed and washed my hair to make sure that that was good for like, you know, spending the day in St. Martin. Still didn't tell some of my contacts I would have been in St. Martin, but maybe everything happens for a reason. I have a bit more planning that I can do for my full day when I'm on the island. So I'm just going to throw the garbage away, get back inside and wait until the airport opens so I can give them a call because no one wants to fly in this. Right, boats? Yeah, they say, they say so too. I'm at the airport and this is how the sky looks. This is the view. And I was supposed to sleep today, like I mentioned earlier, but because the wind, the tropical storm, and everything was passing, I am not. And I can't feel better now. Living on this island, like, this is going to be.
a little, little bit of a rant. Like the island is beautiful. It's so precious. It's tiny. There's so, so much to smile about. Like life is really beautiful here. But there's so many people that are quite grumpy and negative. And then it, all of that energy plays on my energy. And then my energy goes like, ooh. I was posting this morning, I'm not leaving because of the weather and because... Let me finish this somewhere else. Let's go. Let's talk since I'm home now. I'm getting a pimple. Come up. Dress. It's dress now. I have to drink a coffee. Probably won't be good for my... my if you my handshake and already. Do you see that? <laughs> Probably won't be good for my anxiety. But on my stomach, there's a lot more calm now. So... I decided to enjoy a coffee with no sugar, so that should balance things out. Mm. And I had this amazing pastry that they sell here in the bakery, made out of, I think it's almost chicken, but the chicken and beef one be banging. And yeah, I just came to sit on the porch because I have a porch in Holland and I better use one that I got so I can walk outside of my bare feet. Say hi to the neighbors passing up and down, you know, and now the road traffic has changed, so I see some traffic a bit more. But I was talking earlier, like, it just feels so good being on the island. You feel all this good energy, good vibes. Hi, hey, Marcia, Polizzi. You see, it's almost not. So they need to warm themselves by foot. Um, yeah, just being outside on the porch is nice. And what I was saying earlier was that you would think being on an island that is so pure, so magical, so beautiful, things would be a lot more, or people would be a lot more kind, a lot more easy, a lot more helpful, a lot more smiley, a lot more happy. And the, a, a large majority are. However, my experience with some customer service places and you know, like getting service from people some places, it's just like that they're in the mood and they're stressed and they have this like heaviness. And me, who have to travel like three hours a day to go to the office and get back home, of course, it's an option because I could look for a job soon or closer to where I live, but. For where I work and everything, I think you know it's, it's building and it's helping me in my development, and it's a choice I have, yeah. But you travel here yeah, and you get to work within max 15 to 20 minutes. Max, you finish work early, you have the sun, you have wind today, okay, fine. But you have everything to allow you to have a beautiful life. Maybe the cost of living is high, but. You choose to look at you, and and life is beautiful, and you're not smiling, and then you make people like me get anxious and get in my feelings when I shouldn't be, and I don't need to be because life is beautiful. I don't know if you get the rap, but I, I've talked to some people about like how I feel about being back, and they also feel the same thing. And on one hand, to be honest with you, again being back here, like a few months ago when I was in Carousel, I was thinking about moving back there, and now that I'm here. I was thinking about moving back here and I see so much so many opportunities I could have and things I could do here. However, because of the customer service, because of the people I guess, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think I have the strong armor to keep myself grounded and being happy while also living my best life. Living my best vibrant life. At the moment. Currently, currently, like now, now to pick up my things from home and come back and to live today. Mm -hmm. I'm not there yet. I'm not. It's quite unfortunate because I see a large opportunity. I see a lot of things I could do. But again, I think as well, like this trip was just needed. A lot of things came up. A lot of emotions moved all over the place. A lot of triggers. And I'm learning, I'm doing my best, I feel like I could have done better, but I think I did my, like, best is here, I did like, just like a 5% below my best, but I did my best. 
and I changed my ticket. So tomorrow, definitely, I'm ready by tomorrow to leave my ass off with the island and go to St. Martin. And it's been a full fabulous day in St. Martin, doing all the things I love, which is like going to see my great aunt, going to the beach, going to the beauty stores or the hair stores. Yeah. See, another admirer is going to stop. Hi. How are you? It's like a little quick talk like that. And Molly, you don't have that really. They don't give a shit about you know. Or do they? Maybe you do. The Lord is just telling me to sit my grass tight and stable for today. Follow my instinct, because this is my first instinct as well, to leave Seba on Thursday and fly to Kiroso on Friday. Yeah, and my ticket to Kiroso, I haven't booked as yet, so once I make it to St. Martin, get to my great aunt's house, <laughs> then is when I will book my ticket. Just to make sure it's secure, because my ticket to Holland has been fixed. A whole bunch of rambling, a whole bunch of talking, I hope it makes sense, but... I was telling some people the other day as well, like me being all vibrant and happy and in my best mood and best energy, sometimes it, it isn't. Like I'm doing the best that I can do. Really am. Really, really am. And the best that I can do right now is me trying to follow my instinct. But sometimes I don't because I like to burn my fingers. follow it. I'm gonna follow it. It's almost 11 11. It is 11 11. Follow my intuition and instincts. It's gonna be a good day. Inshallah. <laughs> And just like that, my time on Sabre has ended. Oh. <sighs> Saying goodbye to the house and then my fair for a few. Maybe it'll be, it won't be years this time. It will definitely be months, if weeks. I should just count them in weeks. But I'm sad to leave. <sighs> Who made the decision for me to go live in Holland? Oh. <laughs> like you're torn, I'm torn between the two. Oh my God. <sighs> time to go. Thank you, homie. Thank you, Seba, for the time here. I really appreciate it. Triggered a lot. A lot of anxieties. But I've also grown this trip. I think I have. I've grown. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Let's go to the airport and make my reason to Martin.